we don't get a whole lot of real interesting things these days. Not that look beautiful on their paperwork that covers them. So I do love collecting things like that. I like these little initials. Those happen to be DH for me. Um, love those little laundry tags and just more little binding pieces and stuff. So I use those a lot in my photography and I use them in my books. The red and white is a favorite because I do red and white embroidery sometimes. Not embroidery, cross stitch. And uh, so sometimes I'll use the red and white in with that stuff. And to finish up real quick because I have to do a second video. Unfortunately, I'm sorry about that. So just real quick, it's full of tatting. <laughs> I had started shoving any piece of tatting that I had in here. And of course now I have three more things of tatting in the other thing. But it's it's just tatting, y'all. Y'all have seen all the stuff I have. And it's very similar uh, to the other things that I have. Anything I Anytime I come up with something that's tatted, I would shove it in here. And then I ran out of room. Let me show you this little piece, though, real close up. And I'll finish with this. This is the tiniest, most exquisite piece of tatting I own. I don't believe I own anything any smaller scale than this. And it's exquisite. So it is not going to be used. It's just going to be part of the collection. It looks like it may have been a yoke or something from a, or a neck piece. It's got some stays in it on the side here to hold it upright so I assume it was a collar piece and then it went down on the front of a dress but isn't that beautiful well done so uh, to you ladies out there who are enjoying seeing these things please let me know if you're not much of a fan of seeing things like this then um, playing with pretties is probably not something you'll want to see so you don't, you know, when you see playing with pretties, you'll know this is what it is. I'll be going through showing y'all stuff. But uh, if you like it, let me know. Um, I enjoy showing it off. And I enjoy talking about stuff that I know a little bit about. Just enough to get me in trouble most times. But I'm happy to show what I have stashed in these boxes. And maybe we'll do another box soon. So... I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate your comments. Let me thank each and every one of you who have looked at my craft room and left me comments and encouragement and you liked certain things. I enjoyed your comments so much. And thank y'all for watching and for encouraging me because um, that's just, y'all are friendly and nice people and it, it goes a long way in my little world to be encouraged and I appreciate that I hope I am I hope I am an encouragement to each of you so anyway with that I'll let you go and thank you again for watching bye-bye